Okay, so this is the most critical part because I'm going to try to show you how these paints cover in, compare, in comparison to each other or the three brands and um, this is going to be just my palette but I'm going to mix them there so I think it's important that yeah, you can probably, hopefully you will be able to see if the camera is good enough the different inconsistencies among, between the three, among the three brands and, uh, and then I'm going to just paint for you to show you coverage here this, but if this is just, you know, my cheapest source of plastic card that is actually all credit cards uh, if this, they have been sprayed, uh, primed with an uh, automotive gray um, this is a primer I use sometimes for, for, for miniatures, especially large ones if, because then the, fine, the, the grain is quite fine but then what I did is I painted a third of them of the surface with a white primer from from Sky 77 as well and then another third with black primer from Sky 77 so what we know we have here is a nice surface with primer that is going to be uh, sticking uh, the paint is going to be sticking to it. Speaking about the primers, the primers are quite good. I myself found now that the black one doesn't adhere as good as the white one. Yeah, I don't know if this is, this is my first experience with black primer to be honest. So I don't know if this is a primer of black, black primers in general or this black primer doesn't adhere that, that well. But it's happening, it's happening right, right here and it happens to be in a miniature. So if you need a black primer probably I don't know if this one is the green is very fine but I don't know if it's a good one or probably I messed it up I didn't just um, shake it well enough so these are uh, the, the colors I chose for to, to show you I will start with the blues uh, for the blues I tried to pick six blues that three blues that are more or less the same right and uh, this is going to be sapphire blue by Reaper, Mediterranean blue by Skull Color, and medium blue from Vallejo. Uh, medium blue is a little bit darker, I think, in shade, it dries darker. At least I paint uh, what I do when you paint all the time is just dab a, some, a sample of the paint on the pot, and it looks darker even on a white cup. So this is going to be darker probably, but it will help us see. What I want to show you is probably, since the colors are very close in hue, sorry, I'm shaking them while I try to speak, speak. Uh, we can see if probably the pigments each manufacturer use are close enough, then we can appreciate differences in transparency and consistency right out of the pot. So what I'm going to do is, this is the Vallejo blue, it's going there, then and I just keep them there so we I remember this is the Vallejo one. Then the Reaper paint is coming there. And then the scale color paint is going there. First, when you first try using the scale color paints, they look so thick. So thick. Uh, to be honest, they feel like a plastic shell. Uh, hell, not really paint. I've been told that what you need to do is shake them like your life depending on, on it. It's not that easy. <laughs> I mean, I get tired easily. But, uh, but well, I try. I try to shake them. I get also quite a bit of separation from Vallejo and, for example, check this Reaper. It has there some medium separating. So Mm, every paint has your things. You just know this one needs to be shaken a lot. And this little bit of scale color actually came out quite nice anyway brush so that nobody you know what I'm using it's just a ripper zero number zero uh, hair that comes from there into paint kits and um, don't use this for painting but it's going to be good enough for this so now this is ripper paint probably all of you know it already as you see it's very fluid uh, I do I, I can spray here and brush stroke, even when it's straight from the pot disappears after a second or two and that is river paint, we know it already um, it's the most fluid in my experience from all of them this is river paint blue and green and green, so in every other pot it's slightly transparent this is my experience with the paint this is on the, on the, on the black 
it's transparent as well, you can see the color, you can still see blue strokes, but uh, I can probably thin it and I will thin it a little bit later and blue strokes will disappear because the paint is very, very fluid. Then I'm going to use the Vallejo one. The Vallejo, of course, are a lot more dense. I don't know if you can see it here, but I'm picking up quite a bit of dense paint and out of the pot they cover a lot more, more and blue strokes of course you can see blue strokes but you don't really see as many as you will see think you, you could see I mean you, you will get from such a dense paint I like my hope colors because they are very very dense in pigment and uh, you can always thin them, thin, thin them later if you like to thin them like I do and then the scale color paint the scale color paint feels like it is a big thick puddle just look at that right see how it stays and you see the brush strokes right it covers beautifully however see that you can still see brush strokes there it's probably because as I said this is the densest of the ones so if the brush stroke cover of course that is that it has a little more water because I just dip the brush into the water sorry just common, my, my common practice but so let's just clean it again and see you know Vallejo you can you, it leaves the brush stroke behind but slowly it starts to get back in, it, in, it, in itself, it, it has to level, that's the right word, I think. Reaper, Reaper paint, in my experience, is way thinner. You can get good coverage, but you need to do more layers, so it's great for layering. I, I, at least, I think this paint is good for layering. Skill color, thicker, as we said, right? There has a more paint, more water than I want it to. I want to have to get, but oh, sorry, it's water there, it's not good. So, but well, you can see it here. I have too much water on the, the, the brush, so that's a rule. See, but as you can see. If you are concerned that skill color is not good, good enough or not a good, no, not a paint good enough for our hobby, it definitely is. It has good coverage. It is thick, but we'll thin it um, later and so on. So that is a little bit of a comparison for that. And then I will move to yellows. Yellows, in general, I have a, a different time having them to cover. And this is going to be Reaper Sun Yellow, Vallejo Flat Yellow, and Sun Yellow as well, or Sol, the Pulver Sun Yellow from Scale Color. These paints should be quite close together. Scale Color paint is actually a bit brighter, more desaturated or more brighter. Um, flat Yellow from, from Vallejo is, it has a tint of orange in it. But well, that's what we have. Same old order as before, it's just a quick shake. This is Vallejo. Vallejo has a problem with separation, so probably if I didn't shake it well, well enough, the, some of the pigments, especially the darker pigment, tend to go to the, the bottom in this yellow. This is Reaper. See how fluid it is? Bloop. Immediately came there. And then scale color. Scale color is it to be a little more dense. See a little medium there as well. Can you? See, I don't know. You can see the transparent thing here. That is medium. That is a thing I have with scale color. When a lot of that medium comes, if as you can see, it is very very thick. It feels very very thick. You need to thin it. You can't just use this paint straight from the pot. It will be a mess. But let's try it here. Skill color. As I said, I have sometimes I have issues with yellow covering. Skill color for me in a yellow covers quite a bit of it. It's quite nice. Second to clean my brush, it will be better. Reaper. Reaper yellow is very a very nice yellow. See, 
it's fluid, it goes like this, it's very nice, it still shows the color behind, let's try it on black, yellow on black is not a good idea, but here it is anyway, sick is win, probably from transparency, but you can see, Marvel of most brushstroke, that's really perfect, so you know the paint. And then my Yeho straight from the pot, just mix it a little bit. Right? And you can see this yellow is thinner than the blue, for example. You know, you have to align your consistencies. You can actually this is why you can say one drop, one drop, or two one or three one. Different paints behave differently, different brands. You have to just learn your consistency and that is that. Vallejo, yellow. On the white goes great on the white. But as you see, these colors, even by Yeho and, and skill color, they don't have the coverage, the yellows don't have the coverage, the blue have. And that is a given that if you are not aware of, well, now you don't know it. Then we are going to I'm going to show you a little bit of the reds. Hopefully the paint will not dry too too fast for me to do a sample thinning exercise later. Uh, I usually use a wet palette, uh, so this is new for me, but okay, hopefully it will last a little bit longer so that I can show other consistency, especially on the blue. That was quite thick. Red. Red for comparison for you, I have Reaper Blood Red here, then Vallejo Flat Red is more or less the same color. And also, again, Blood Red from Scale, scale Color. Um, this red is, I'm pretty sure, and uh, if I don't shake it, it's going to show a lot of medium. So, quick shake. I should I, I, I usually shake them quite a bit more. Shaking well, all of them. Same color, same, same order. First one, Vallejo. Wow. Reaper. The Reaper one has dried, the top has dried on me. It's my fault, I don't use the Reaper paints as much. Whoa, see, that's when you squeeze too much. Uh, well, you have a lot of Reaper red there, and then we have a scale color, it's going to be there. Okay, so Reaper Red, a lot of Reaper Red we are going to do there. Reds are also usually known for not having the best coverage in the world. You can see it here on the black, Reaper Red. They are very fluid, few blue strokes, just you need to be careful with your stroke. Vallejo Red, out of the pot, much better co coverage because of course it's much more dense. Again, I can still see the line. I can see a little bit of black and red behind it, but the color is much better. And then this plasticky thing we can call paint is scale color red. And scale color red covers beautifully. If you're careful with your stroke, you won't have many blue strokes, but you just slap the paint on it. It's, well, it's, you get what you there but you can still see blue strokes so those are the three colors I wanted to show you in comparison so as you can see scale color is a very fine very nice hobby paint we all use so hopefully I can show you sorry for that how this paint thins I'm going to use the red um, ripper paint this is going to be this is water just yeah, plain water I'm going to take a mixing brush, some water, take some red, and I'm going to try to beat to make it a one one mix. That's where it is, right? On scale color. Oh. There. And scale color thins right. Hopefully, you can see. The texture there, see? 
this is a lot this is much thinner scale color paint hopefully you can see it will change a lot of vibrancy of course red and black very difficult to cover black is a very difficult color to cover and you got a high high coverage color but that is scale color so if you I would say oh yeah it was way too, too thick it's true it's thick out of the pot but remember you never use paints out of the pot right even if reaper ones are quite you can actually use them uh, out of the pot with a very little thinning like the two to, two to one that the lens paint kits say still you should if you want to try to use more advanced techniques you need to thin it then i'm going to take so I'm gonna mix a, brush, a bit of water on the brush and just mix it into the Vallejo red, probably one to one, a little bit less, right? Thin, beautiful as well. This is Vallejo thin. See, Vallejo has this paint in particular has a lot more coverage, it has a lot more vibrancy. This flat red is not the brighter Vallejo red I own. I own but it's a very nice coverage red as you see for a deep color uh, and then Reaper take some water let's take some of this red Reaper Reaper gets watery for me very very quick uh, with low ratios could have not paint more paint there to have too much consistency but you can see Reaper gets watery very quickly and this is very useful for a lot of techniques right but um, see so there you there you have probably one to one like that, like that consistency out of the pot and then I, I don't really think you can see it, but on this red, for example, I can see the brochure on the Vallejo. I can see the still little spot of Reaper that was too thick and it's not drying, but everything else has no brush strokes. I have very little brush strokes on the scale color, but usually Vallejo and scale color are probably the same consistency. Scale color tends to feel more like a plastic shell, a gel on your brush, but it's still more or less Vallejo's consistency. In my experience, at least most of my colors are but you thin it, it's beautiful coverage, beautiful coverage. All of these are, are great paints, so that's what I want to show you. So just to show you, because I have found this to be very, very useful, this is Vallejo thin, Thinner Medium. I also have tried this with Glacier Medium, the, um, from, from Vallejo Model Color. The result is not exactly the same, but it works like a charm. This is a whitish, probably you can do that with Reaper Medium Matte. Uh, but just to show you, because I found this to be very useful, if you take this thick scale color paint and you mix it with some of the thinner medium, you can immediately see surface tension dropping. The same with glazing medium. And a uh, little bit of water. I need consistency is great again just this is over the previous one this is over white right I could add more water to help the, the, the solution or more thinning medium to thin it better but seeing scale color Mediterranean blue gets thin a lot so in, what in my opinion, not really knowing the chemistry behind these paints, skill color and Vallejo lack additives that the river paints have. The river paints flow better, uh, they have less surface tension, and they are better overall paints right out of the pot. However, even when they are more expensive, they will. Uh, Skill color paints, for example, is very pigment heavy. Uh, it's, I have found it to be very nice. I have thinned them a lot, just like you do with Reapers, for example. I have thinned them way too much without it breaking. I can add, probably, I can take this little bit of red here. 
that shit on the on the, on the, 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 the this is just water and as you can see no pigment breakdown almost nothing there you can leave it sit up for a while and you will start to separate slowly but it's very easy to put it back together I mean for all all three paints are very pigment thin that's that's a thin glaze for you when you ask guys what is a glaze just trying to tint the surface that is a red glaze for example so uh, these paints work great for that they, uh, they, they're, they are definitely very nice quality hobby paints and um, if you like any of the sets I can definitely recommend them uh, another thing I wanted to show you is how well this paint adheres to bones I mean one of the things we look for river paints or I hear about river paint is how well it is for bones this is a bones miniature obviously as you can see because of how well it doesn't break actually. Um, the whole skin was done in uh, African shadow, right? This purplish, dark purplish color. I intend this as a base. Uh, um, of course, I'm just starting with this miniature and there's still a lot to do. But uh, for example, here I rubbed the paint very, very hard with my finger, scratched it, and I, I lift it off. But as you can see, it goes very very nice on the rib, on the bone if you have, if you do this with your nail of course the paint is going to chip it's still very resistant anyway right you can see very little chipping um oh, big surface there we went out uh it has a, a first coat of brown liner um but uh but in general uh, casual rubbing it's not bad I mean paint works quite good with, with bones detail is nice you have no no big issues of scale 75 paint uh, uh, I'm sorry uh, I know I said the name wrong all all during the video is scale 75 LC 75 paints sorry Another thing I want to show you then is that each set comes with a little uh, with this little sheet, and in it you can see the the four colors, the eight colors. Actually, here are the, the the colors they are going to use for some technique. They explain two techniques in each pack. For example, here for choosing NMM steel, NMM steel, and Azure steel and it's playing four languages, Spanish, English, French and Italian. Uh, instructions are quite nice. This is the blue set for armor, you know, that's better, more, more highlighted blue, cloth blue that it has um, softer transitions. This is the blood and, blood and fire red paint set, which has an example of red as fire right or as um, actually not fire this is this would be fabric or something like that and blood how to paint and detail a wound it's very nice the flesh paint set uh, Indian skin white skin uh, I actually use the Indian skin receipt as written for one of the minutes of my dragon diorama and it went really nice I mean combinations here are really nice but even then they don't really go just use this color or that color they go just mix this color with another one some of these uh, instructions you can also see uh, online at the YouTube channel of the this, this manufacturer and um, they are easier to follow there because you can see the mix, you can see uh, consistency, you can see someone apply paint to a miniature and that is you know. so uh, that is all, if you have any questions just feel free to ask them in the, in, in the forum or just send me a personal me message if you want me to try some other paint or you want to see some other paint or I don't, you have any more questions about these paint sets I'm happy to do whatever it is you want as long as uh, it doesn't mean I have to waste a lot of paint, but uh, everything else is, is really, really, uh, whatever I can do, which has told me. Okay, so, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye.